Hi everyone, this is Ravaling Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is stability studies of drug products as per 21 CFR Part 211.166 Subpart I. The information is based on the base guide ICH Q1A R2 and evaluation as per Q1E guideline. ICH Q1A R2 prescribes requirements for APIs. However, the same strategy is applied for drug products also. Let us see. Let us see the prescription for 21 CFR Part 211.166. There shall be a written testing program designed to assess the stability characteristics of the drug products. The results of such stability testing shall be used in determining appropriate storage conditions and expiration dates. The purpose of this section is to establish the shelf life for the drug product. The written testing program should be designed in such a way that the stability of the drug product can be estimated accurately. The stability parameters may include purity within acceptance criteria, impurities or other characteristics should be within specifications for the entire period of the drug on the pharmacy racks. Based on the stability study, the packaging scheme should be established. There, shall, there are several storage conditions of the drug products. You can notice that certain drug products are stored in refrigerators in the pharmacy, whereas certain drugs are stored at ambient temperatures. These storage conditions are established based on this study. ICH Q1A R2 is a wonderful guide to discuss in detail on this subject. Another important guide, Q1E, helps to understand how the expiry or retest period is assigned based on the correlation data from the accelerated study and the long-term real-time study. Sample size and test intervals based on statistical criteria for each attribute examined to assure varied estimates of stability. Sample size is determined by summing up of sample required for each test and at different time stations of study. As per Q1D guideline, one third or half reduction in testing stations is also possible. So a statistical evaluation should be done to establish how much sample is required for each time station and for the entire study. Valid examination of stability can be achieved effectively using a linear regression analysis. Storage conditions for samples retained for testing, storage conditions for accelerated and long-term conditions must be based on characteristics of the drug product. Depending upon the storage at ambient conditions, refrigerator conditions, freezer conditions, the study varies. As said above, please refer ICHQ1AR2 for more details. Reliable, meaningful and specific test methods. This is important. Reliable means that the method should be capable of reproducing the results repeatedly and accurately. The method should also be stability indicative. That means if there is any change in any parameters during stability study, the analytical method should be capable to detect such changes. Mostly HPLC techniques are used for such study. Specific test means that the method is capable of estimating the drug product without any ambiguity, even when similar or impurities or other isomer compounds with a closer molecular structure when compared with the main API are present in the drug product. Generally, the developmental R&D would focus on developing such analytical methods. Testing of 
network product in the same container closure system as that in which the drug product is marketed. This is important. The samples should be subjected to study only in the marketed pack. That means if there is a study proposed for tablets, the immediate pack of strips within the next in immediate intermediate container should be used for study. Loose tablets before taking for strip packing are not accepted. Testing of drug products for reconstituted at the time of dispensing as directed in the labeling as well as after they are reconstituted. This study is required for reconstituted drug product. Certain antibacterial suspensions that are reconstituted with distilled water are less stable when compared with the drug product before reconstitution. For such products, you can notice that the label that the reconstituted product must be used within a shorter time than before reconstitution. Pharmaceutical suspensions are liquid dosage forms containing finely divided insoluble materials distributed uniformly throughout the suspending medium in which the drug exhibits a maximum degree of solubility. They are relatively less stable. An adequate number of batches of each drug product shall be tested to determine an appropriate expiration date and record of such data shall be maintained. Accelerated studies combined with basic stability information on the components, drug products and container closure systems may be used to support tentative expiration dates provided full shelf life studies are not available and are being conducted. As a statistical thumb rule, it is necessary to have three consecutive batches subjected to the study. Comparing the data from accelerated study conditions and long-term study conditions and established tentative shelf life, the ICH Q1E guide Appendix A will provide a detailed flowchart on decision making on shelf life. Where the data from accelerated studies are used to project a tentative expiration date that is beyond the date supported by the actual shelf life studies, there must be a stability study conducted including the drug product testing at appropriate intervals until the tentative expiration date is verified or the appropriate expiration date determined. The testing intervals for accelerated are 0, 3 and 6 months and long term conditions are for every 3, 6, 9 and 12 months for the first year, 18 and 24 months for the second year and every year thereafter. Generally, the study is conducted up to five years. But if the product is still stable and suitable, the shelf life may be extended beyond the proposed shelf life of five years. Conceptually, if the product is still alive and passes to all specifications, it cannot be considered as expired. It is a simple logic. For homeopathic drug products, the requirements of this section are as follows. There are different conditions for establishing the shelf life for such type of drug products. There shall be a written assessment of stability based at least on testing or examination of the drug product for compatibility of the ingredients and based on marketing experience with the drug product to indicate that there is no degradation of the product for the normal or expected period of use. A risk assessment including all the points referred in this section are applicable for homeopathic drug products. Evaluation of stability shall be based on the same container closure system in which the drug product is being marketed. This point is like 
for other drug products. The study should be conducted only in the same container closure system. Allergenic extracts that are labeled no US standard of potency are exempt from the requirements of this section. Let us see the prescription of drugs and cosmetics rules 1945 appendix 9 of the guideline prescribes stability studies should include testing of those attributes of the drug substance that are susceptible to change during the storage and are likely to influence quality safety and or efficacy in case of formulations the testing should cover as appropriate the physical chemical, biological, and microbiological attributes, preservation, preservative content, example, antioxidants, antimicrobial preservative, and functionality test, example, for a dose delivery system, validated stability indicating analytical procedures should be applied for long-term studies, frequency of testing should be sufficient to establish the stability profile of the drug substance. The Drugs and Cosmetics Act, the rules of 1945. Prescription under Appendix 9 is similar to the ICH requirements. In this guide, it clearly says to address potential changes that are likely to occur during the study. This is the understanding of stability indicating test method. I hope that this information on stability studies as per 21 CFR part 211 and 166 is useful. Read ICH Q1AR2 and Q1E guidelines for more detailed information. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe like and share please leave a message in comments box for any further support thank you